Hey, it's great to have you back with us today. I sure do appreciate it. Thanks for joining us on the Results in Real Estate channel. Listen, if I'm giving you guys some information that you think is useful or helpful, I hope you'll become a subscriber. But let's dive in right now. Today, I've got a lot of topics I want to cover, but the first one I want to hit with you guys is commercial inspections. So first, I'm Mark Halsey. I'm the Managing Broker of Results Commercial. We're a commercial investment brokerage firm, Minneapolis, Chicago, Florida. We're around the country, but let's get started right now. Let's first draw the distinction, okay, because you'll see I do this all the time where I draw the distinction between residential real estate and commercial real estate. So in residential real estate, when they get involved in inspections, you know, the inspection is one of the two big contingencies oftentimes in a residential deal. You've got basically an inspection, which happens usually like within seven days of the purchase agreement. And then you have the financing contingency. Those are the big two. Now in commercial real estate, very different. Okay, we can have a litany of contingencies. Property inspections is still going to be one of our contingencies, but it's different, okay? It's also different the way we conduct our inspections. And that's the main thing I wanna talk with you about today. Now, whether you're a seller or you're a commercial buyer, it's important that you understand the difference between an office building, retail building, industrial building, a net lease building, or let's say land, okay? So in commercial real estate, we hit all of these categories. So very, very different than say a single family home or new construction or even a duplex, triplex, or fourplex. Now, listen, you've heard me talk about environmental, right? Environmental is a key part of our due diligence. And there are companies that will also, in the environmental space, that will give what's called a property condition report or, or an assessment report. And they will go out and they'll basically do that inspection of that commercial property and they'll prepare this formal report for a client. Those reports can be expensive, okay? So, so and that's okay. The buyer makes a decision, but many times the buyers are saying, broker, please guide. That is our job. That's what we do all the time and we say, well, Here's what we think you should do. Here's the approach that we think you should take relative to property condition, property assessment reporting. So residential real estate, usually you hire an inspector, a home inspector, and they come out within the first few days after the purchase agreement and they go through and they spend three or four hours and they detail the home and they put together this pretty little report. Lots of times it might be there's a leaky faucet or it might be the tree roots are starting to go into the foundation. There's all kinds of things that they can be finding. Some of them are really very minor, but of course, what are we mainly looking for? We're looking for catastrophic issues, big problems. So we're making sure that that buyer's not stepping into something that they're not aware of. Commercial. So in commercial, can you hire a single inspector? Sure, I just got done telling you that you can hire a company that will go ahead and put together this comprehensive report that can be very expensive. But a lot of times that's not what we do, okay? It's one option, but it's not what we do. So you say, well, then what do you do? We bring in specialists, that's what we do. And we'll look at the foundation realizing that we need a structural engineer to come take a look at this. Or we bring in the plumber, we bring in the electrician. Okay, so now I just rattled off five or six of these specialists. And many times that's what we do. Now, there's a big difference with commercial buyers, right? You can get a commercial buyer who might be buying an office building for the first time for their company. And they're not a whole lot different than maybe a first time home buyer. They really don't know too much. And then we deal with professional investors or even investment companies or REITs. Do you want some generalist who might not really understand complicated roofing systems or HVAC systems, the rooftop systems. We might have six or 10 different rooftop systems, HVAC systems that are servicing a building. Uh, it can get very, very complicated or boiler systems, what have you. And so that's why many times it's very, it's just smarter, it's more prudent to bring in the specialist. So anyhow, I hope this gets you thinking about this as you're working through these deals about how to go about the commercial inspection. So I hope this is helpful. I'm glad you're with me today. Listen, subscribe if you're willing. Um, I love bringing you guys this information. Thanks for being with me today. Guys, I love real estate. I think you do too. I think you're gonna really like our channel, Results in Real Estate. We got a ton of content. I hope you're gonna check it out. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Results in Real Estate.